A debate rages in the magic community, a Johnny smash or pass, and an equally important debate, Diabol Content, which is coming to modern. Some players say it's the best card ever, to sack a creature, and put any card from a deck into hand, but other players say it's unplayable, pointing out that a similar card, and it was call, sees little to no play. At the center of this debate are Yogmoth players, because within dying, a sacrifice creature will return to the battlefield, and all the Yogmoth players are saying, no thank you, because there's already Elsa's Revolution, which puts a creature onto the battlefield. Likewise, Port of Calling, which also puts something on the battlefield, so why put something into hand if you instead put it on the battlefield? And the counterpoint to that, Chalice of the Void, which means Free, to shut off Cascade decks, and Endurance, to shut off Graveyards, and my favorite, Necrophilia, which shuts off combo decks. So today, we are settling this debate, testing out that Ball Content in Yawgmoth deck. Now to make room for intent, I kind of cut all the Court of Callings. I can feel all the Yawgmoth players screaming in pain, because Court of Calling is arguably one of the most important cards. Because with Yawgmoth, the combo works with one dying creatures, sacrificing a creature to bring it back with a counter, and then negating that counter with a minus one counter, looping as many times as we want until we run out of life. Unless we have Blood Artist, in which case go infinite for the win. But once Yawgmoth starts going, Court of Calling really helps to find Blood Artist. But without Ball Content, it turns all of our cyber cards into five copies. And that's pretty gangster. But we saw the evolution because turning a mana dark into a turn to Christ is pretty sexy because we sacrifice more creatures to destroy our opponent's stuff and also make tokens. And with evolution, we can grab Messenger, another great finisher for Yogmoth. And because we're sacrificing so much, we have claimed the firstborn to steal our opponent's creatures and then sack them. And because we're splashing red, we have Magus, another great card to dig for. Likewise, as with Seiju, taking out lands, artifacts, and enchantments. So as you can see, we have quite the toolbox for game one, but it gets even better when we use our cyborg. So we have Blood Noon, in case Magus is not enough. More Necrophilia, more claim, stuff to discard, and bail off for that game. And ETV hate, a bunch of artifact enchantment hate. Token heat, graveyard heat, and counter heat. That is the deck. Now it's time to see the deck in action. So without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand's pretty stinky. But we'll keep and try for Arbor. Claim for us. Opponent ramps with Grazer. Necrophilia for us. Put out Geist and Pass. The Long Explorers. And there's Amulet. Dryad. We'll be in a tough spot here. An evolution, but no claim. But here goes evolution. Grabbing Yogg. We'll swing. Pull out blocks. And now do they have Titan here? Where are the reach? Uh oh. And yep, there's Titan. Finding Valakuts. And now our noose is loose. It's only game two. I'm going to go We're going to for us in last game two. Opening hand's very sexy. We're gonna keep. Play Hierarch and pass. Diabolic for us. Play Wolf. Intent. Grabbing Force and we'll pass. Upon draw some ramps. We draw some Garoot. So now it's Necrophilia time. Taking out the Titan. Oh, the Cell Cultivator in deck. Along with Emerald and Kozilek. Number three. Play Bird and pass. Uh oh. They dig for four creatures. And we choose which two go to our opponent's hand. Uh, they're gonna have Colossus and Dryad. The Sage you, sir. We'll put out Geist. Number three. And the Sage with the land. Wait, did I not attack with the Geist? Why? What? Oh, that's right. I'm in bread. That's Dryad. And intent for us. I don't have any idea. Sack the Geist. Find Thought Seas. Play it. No! Oh, I drew Emrakul, gosh. I should've grabbed Necrophilia, but then they would've gotten two zombies. All right, take Emrakul. This is four. Oh, one passes. A second force for us. I'll probably use Colossus here. We'll swing up those creatures anyway. Oh, on it takes it. So you got a three. And here comes Breach and Cultivator. But we could still have them here. They transmute. Finding Valakut. Unfortunately for opponent. Force is Dryad. So Valakut will fizzle. And we shall jizzle. Oh, another Dryad. Taking out Strangle Root. They swing for six. Unfortunately for opponent. Force number two. And swing for three. Hooray. So again, three it is. Opening hand is Terrible mole. And sure we'll keep. Ready for us. Oh, what a blue moon. Play it. Now it's back to opponent. So it passes. We draw evolution. We'll first thought seize. Oh, we'll take summoner's pack. So we'll make a token. And send it back. Oh, we'll play amulets. Many options. So here's what we'll do. Token. Now evolution. Finding circle root. Attack it. Find necrophilia. It's a four. Oh, it chomps. So it passes. I get token. And necrophilia. Naming through the breach. Our poor opponent. Oh, it passes. And more necrophilia. It's a five. We'll name dryad. No dryads for them. Another amulet. Back for six. Oh, one of those members. But unfortunately for them. Ultimate Christ. Take victory. Ours. What a style tossing. Now it's on the next one. Opening hand is fine, I suppose. We'll keep. We'll start off with birds. Oh, and it looks like living end. Single root. Play single root. Play hierarch. And tickle the tank for three. Oh, and a cycles. Diabolic eight would be really nice here. Darn. But oh, that works as well. Play geist. This for four. Play wolf. And dryad. So much fox down the six. Cycles. And passes. Oh. They probably have living end here. We'll try for messenger. Messenger hits. And it'll swing. And there's living end. We sack our creatures. Oh, we have them dying. Oopsie poopsie for our opponents. Now they be at two. Now they have a meat wall. And this is awkward. We'll Pass. Another agent. And they fizz this for four. Oh, and Yogmoth. Play it. And there's a concede. Because we bring back Messenger. I'm going to answer this run this first one asking two. Opening hand, no sideboard cards. But it's fine, we'll keep. Oh, and ley line. So no one dying for us. Oh, intent for us. We'll play birds. And our opponent cycles. Oh, no passes. And now the time has come to come. The hierarch. Attack bird. The one digs. Dig some more. But now it's Chalice time. The opponent passes. And Durin is perfect. For now, go Grist. Take a token. Plays right in upon cycles. Oh, the grief. Really endurance. We'll put our faith in Chalice and say no. Oh, we lose our endurance. Yogg for us. We'll make a token. Play Yogg. And swing for two. Unfortunately, Blood Artist doesn't work here. There's a light line. So Yogg's a bit awkward. But speaking of awkward, Pong passes. We'll play Geist. Swing with the team. We'll make another token. And they play Endurance. They hard cast a 4 4. Play Artist. Sack to kill. Blood Artist triggers. Because the Conestuff still dies. And there's a concede. What a spanking us on the next one. Oh, putting hand. We have a bird, so we're gonna keep. We'll play Flower and passes. We'll play Bird and pass. We'll play Pong passes. And taps down our bird. We'll play Geist. Take over two. Pass opponent. There's Murphy Lord. And the Yogg Moth for us. Now we play Geist. Sack 
to take out the Lord. That's fine for three. Alright. They draw a silver gill. And take the three. Okay. Our opponent swings a grace. Grace goes to Christ. And our opponent passes. That's a little stinky. We'll go for Yogg. Sack. Oh, and Trickster. Targeting Yogg. That's fine. We'll send it back and they activate Vial. Putting out the new Lord. Oh, what a swings. Lock. And then sack and take out the Lord. Take out Adept. And go to ten. Now here is where if we had Cord Calling, we can go infinite. We'll have to do this instead. Creature, creature. For counter. Counter number two. Play a safe and spank for six. And there's a seed. We're going against Super in this first time. Asking two. We're going against Fire and a Heap. And a lot of Mute Vault and no Vile. Okay. Play a Silver Gill. We'll play Christ. Oh, subtlety. Fine. Put on bottom. And there's Vile. And the Lord. We go to 17. Oh, and Diabolic. I'm done with the idea. Play a Wolf. Sack. And grab Punishment. Although we'll still need another land. Oh, and Hive Shaper. Going into an island. And another Lord. Can't block and go to 10. And come on, land for daddy. No, it's not a land. Okay, they have us. Again, three it is. Opening hand. No turn on play. We'll mole. And sure, this is fine. We'll keep. Play higher can pass. There's right, Vile. Might as well play Artist. So for one. And pass opponent. Five shape for sure. Hitting our land. A few options here. We could wipe ones. No, those are Hierarch. With no real backup plan. Or I could sack the Hierarch. Grab Stranger Root, but why? So go for the wipe. Wipe from the board. Drain two. And I'll pass back. I want to draw the We'll get our main land. Swing with our main land. I want to take this. Now sack. Drain. Grab and Grist. And I'll pass back. I want to draw some more. Oh, and there's a Lord. We take three. Stranger Root. All right. We'll distract our opponents. Play and Grist. Make a token. And I'll pass back. I want to swing to Grist. So number Grist. Land for us. How we draw? Yogmoth. Oof. This game's not going so well. And there's subtlety. Yeah, this is pretty bad. But against fair decks like Merfolk, it's really hard to dig for anything. So victory was our opponent. Very tragic. And now so in the next match. Oh, winning hand. One land, but we have mana ramp. We're to keep. A nice land for us. Play like Hierarch and pass. Someone passes. There's Necrophilia. How will we go? Hierarch, Strangle Root, and Fist of Four. I want to take it back to them. <laughs> Opponent passes with loser. We shall swing. And really no removal. In that case, play Wolf. Evolution. Now oh, they counter. Shoot. Daddy executed that horribly. Full of creativity deck. That's for five. Our opponent gets fisted. And it's Necrophilia time. Name creativity. Oh, they still have persist. So we're not finished just yet. Someone passes. We'll swing out. Found trades. And these for Zari. Ah, shoot. Putting Archon in graveyard. But luckily for us, the Magus. And then unable to play persist. There's a concede. I'm going against Silver in this rust and asking two. Opening hands on this curve storm to keep. We'll play the wolf and pass. Oh, and Ren. Getting back to the land. Swing at Ren. Sack wolf. And grab Blood Moon. Oh, that opponent passes. Very suspicious. We could play Geist to try and take out Ren. Or just go with Necrophilia. Let's first swing. Ren takes it. Try for Necrophilia. They counter it and draw. Opponent passes again. Swing at Ren. Play Blood Moon. Oh, and make a token. They did get make a treasure. Wrong on Oracle and Graveyard. What? Play Young Wolf and pass. And a Plains. Or Leyland Binding, it seems. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll sack the wolf. Grab the forest. Play Strangle Roots. And swing at Ren. Ren goes to Jesus. And I'll pass. The haunt passes. And Grice for us. The Grice. Ah, shoot. Another veil. So we can't target their token this turn. Very unfortunate. We'll swing. The haunt takes fits. We'll put out a chomper. And pass back. <laughs> the haunt passes. And evolution. We'll go for Yogg. Yogg hits. Make a token. Counter and sack. Oh, messenger. They got the dwarf. Sacking the wolf. We'll swing. We'll proliferate. We'll and all that. Our opponent goes to two. And there's a concede. And I'll be on the next match. Opening oh, hand lands are stinky. We'll keep. On his bubble. Another. Oh boy. We'll pass. And a Chandler. Birds for us, sure. We'll play it and pass. The haunted eggs. It's in for one. And it passes. And now it's Grice time. We'll make a token pass. Oh, a bolt. And now they have delirium. So no Grice for us. Oh, that's good. A bit risky. We can control Chandler. Will they counter? Oh, spell pierce. We'll choose not to pay it. That's how I go evolution. Hunting endurance. And we'll swing for one. So much for delirium. All this shredder. And another Chandler. And our heavy Oh my. And Chalice. That could be useful. But it also kind of hurts us as well. So how about instead? Necrophilia. Naming more tied. Oh, an iteration in hand though. Alright, play Chalice on zero. And I dump their iteration. Okay. Because they have a second one. That makes sense. And so much digging. And now they have delirium. And unholy heat. So our opponent takes this one. And it's on game two. We're going against Super in this first last game two. Opening hand kind of bad. What do you have endurance? So we'll keep. For Chandler. We'll hit like Iced. Number two. And pass our opponent. And a lot. Unholy heat. Oh, double removal. I shoot. That's not a land. We'll go double. And pass back. Our opponent digs. And now they have delirium. Please land for daddy. Oh, fine. Swing for two. Play hierarchy and pass. Hold the shutter. Bobble the filter. And removal. We got a 12. And still no land. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Special Olympics. Alright, we'll swing. Come on, blocks. And you know what? Screw it. We'll evoke endurance. Alright, pass back. Another shutter. And it hurts. And if we just had four mana, we could wipe the board. But no, no lands for daddy this game. And surprise, no land. One of draws. What is another Chandler? And yep, Pun has us. Oopsie poopsie. So there we have it. Die ball content. Really grabs everything. Against common decks, it was insane. But against fair decks with Merfolk, it was kind of balls. And I'm not really sure Yogmoth wants it, because we never really comboed off, and simply wanted the beat down. But the card seems to have a lot of potential. Maybe in a fair graveyard deck, which itself has no way to combo off, but it forces our opponent to play fairly, then perhaps it's good enough. Daddy's also building that deck. So be sure to subscribe and check out soon. And until next time, stay with Thick.